Hey guys, so today we're going to be watercoloring a really simple watercolor. Um, as you can see, it's cute little mushrooms and it's going to look something like this. I'm using the Reflections uh, watercolor paper or watercolor journal. And this is what it looks like. It's super cute. And it's such a beautiful shade of blue. And it just soaks up the color. I absolutely love it. Um, it was super easy to make this and super fun. I used only two brushes, this uh, Creative Inspiration half inch brush, and then I also used the Fan Pan brush. So this is the Fan Pan set, and it comes with this water uh, pen. So you fill it up with water and then you can use it that way or you can just use it like a regular watercolor brush, which is what I did, because I'm old fashioned. And these are what the colors look like in the fan pan, and I actually have another video talking all about this cool fan pan. So much fun. All right, enjoy. All right guys, so let's get started. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with the sky. I'm painting it a beautiful blue first. And then I'm going to add some details, such as purple. While I'm allowing the paint to dry in the sky, I'm going to go ahead and start off with the ground, with the moss and the dirt. Not really putting in much details yet, just adding some color. While I'm allowing the dirt to dry, I'm going to go ahead and add some more details to the sky. And again, going back, I am allowing the sky to dry and I'm adding more details with the moss. I'm also going to be putting a kind of halo over the mushrooms just this beautiful yellow to highlight the mushrooms. I'm also going to go ahead and color in the little splotches on the mushrooms. Now I'm going to go ahead and color in the mushrooms red, this beautiful shade of red. So I just wetted my brush with a lot of white and then I just kind of grabbed my brush like so and then went ahead and splashed this white all over the sky to make it look a little bit more magical. I also took the white with my round brush and just made a little detailed dots onto the mushroom. Alright, I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial, I know that I did, and I'll see you in the next video. Stay safe, guys!